this one I, I think could 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 be interesting here. Uh oh. So we have Renee asking. Cut the feed, cut the feed. Have we ever thought of making our own line of scotch? Oh. And what? I'm gonna add this part in. <clears throat> what and, flavor profile? And what? Yep. Dill pickle. <laughs> I, I would do dill pickle scotch just to piss you off. <laughs> <laughs> just to hear him complain about it every single day. Um, no, I've never thought about making my own. See, I'm my my neighbor brews beer, and what and he makes all kinds of different beer. And what ends up happening is he'll and, and always have me. Oh, try this, try that, try that. And half the time, it's, you know, I don't think Mark watches the show, so it's, well, it's pretty good. <laughs> he turned that way. Psh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that was a really good one. Um, no, it's, I'm, I'm being facetious. But the, um, uh, it, he will always try different things. And what he has said is, yeah, I still got this. You know, I, I made it. I have to suffer through it. I don't really like it. And I would hate putting any amount of time and effort in. My time is already too short as it is. Um, I would hate putting time into brewing beer and then finalizing it and hating it and throwing it out, spending all the money on all that stuff anyway, and then just go out and buy a case of, you know, Dirt Wolf anyway. So for the scotch, that kicks it up a notch because yeah. we would have to figure out what the heck we're doing or find someone who knows what the heck they're doing and then wait years for it to mature years. unless we use granddad's old, you know, method of sticking it on the window. Um, <laughs> The, we would have to wait years for it to mature, and then if we didn't like the finished product, I'd be furious. Yeah. Um, or disappointed. Not furious. Disappointed. I'd be deflated. And so, you're doing like a 17-year aged scotch. Now, not only are you mad that the, the one you took 17 years to age isn't good, you've got 16 more years that are sitting in the barrels waiting to now restart the process of, of, of tweaking the, the recipe. See, if and you probably don't start with a 17 year if you're starting. But. Depending on how angry, let's say it's a 10 year. Mm -hmm. It's I, depending on how angry I got, it would be a Hulk meets prohibition era anger at barrels, just smashing stuff to get rid of all the scotch that I didn't like. But I will not be bullied by that. Um, all right, let's take the, the anger and the unsurety out of it. Let's, let's go in the max part of the question. Let's say we have, uh, uh, Nancy Fraley, who's a, is a master scotch blender. Okay. Um, we have her, uh, she's our friend out in the California. Um, we have her and she says, okay, here are like, here's 10 different scotches. We're going to do the different flavor notes and she's going to do it for us and she's going to make sure it's a good job and we're going to love it. So. What are the flavor profiles we want to put in our scotch? Now, do we do like weird avant-garde stuff or do we do like to actually try to make something good? Let's do weird. Let's do weird. <laughs> so, Asked and answered yeah. himself. Um, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I don't, I don't stray too much with my scotches. I'll try any kind of weird beer you'll throw at me. You just didn't want to try the pickle scotch. But with whiskeys and scotches, I tend to kind of go back to yes. the standard styles. There's the there's the peanut butter scotch that Jason brought in the one time, which I tried peanut and I was like, whiskey, okay. Whiskey, not peanut butter uh, scotch. Whatever. Yeah, yeah. It, it wasn't it wasn't Heart bad nuts. for what it was. Yeah. Okay. I've tried some beers that would stretch the believability that it could even be considered a beer and, and liked them. Um, some beers I really don't like. I don't like every beer, but I'll try most beers. But uh, it's really not an investment, though. It's like yeah. it's like six bucks versus with you know, whiskeys, forty six. Whiskeys and scotches, I tend to go back to the same barrels, so yeah. to speak. Okay. So I don't know. I don't know that I'm. I'm, well I'm thinking maybe before. like what about like a smoky haggis flavor? Smoky I haggis hear you. scotch. Okay. I see where you're going with it. I want to see somebody else do it. I don't know that I want her name on it, <laughs> <laughs> but I'm interested. <laughs> That's fair. That's fair. fair point. It's you know, <laughs> protecting the brand. Um, okay. I'm, I'm intrigued. I'll probably hate it, but I will try it to find out. <laughs> okay. Here's here's the other one I'm I'm kind of going for. A and this could almost be a cocktail potentially. Okay. This is either the worst idea I've ever had. <laughs> I'm gonna mix my scotches. Um, a nice like reasonably like no strong flavor profile, 
like you know, not some not an ILS, nothing super smoky or super peaty or anything like that. Just a nice, well balanced Scotch with Iron Brew. Wow. Funny you mentioned that. There's For someone, the sweetness. someone else mentioned Iron Brew flavor that is in this room right now. Really? That isn't in this room right now. Oh, fair oh. enough. Nice. So, so the uh, <laughs> no, but I could. I don't know. I don't know if that would be horrible. Or, or okay, let's let's not let's not mix them together. But like, what if we just like, you know, like you could buy like the Coke syrup, and then you just add the fizzy water and it makes Coke at now, McDonald's. Now, are we talking about the space flavored Coke or the? <laughs> no. What if we just got like the Iron Brew syrup, and instead of like a honey kind of flavor to it, we just put in the uh, the the weird St. John's aspirin kind of flavor. What are we? <laughs> what are we making? Scotch for children? <laughs> we have to sugar it up. Hey, Liam! <laughs> Try this. You'll love it, buddy. Uh, um, no, but like... <laughs> I'm, I'm a purist when it comes to scotch. I do not mix it. If I want a mixed drink, I'll grab a bourbon, especially a cheap one. Scotch is drunk neat or with a, just a very small amount of water, and that's about it for me. It's, I'm very, I'm, I'm I'm, very vanilla taste when it comes to this. I'm shocked and disappointed knowing you and your, I know, I, your penchant for trying I, weird foods, try weird, weird yep, drinks, yep. weird beers... I, and it, like scotch, just flat lines. Yeah, yep. I, I I can't explain it. I don't know what made me this way. You're an enigma <laughs> wrapped in a riddle. All right, um, Mac, what's your flavor profile for a weird scotch? Banana. <laughs> yeah, banana. Yeah, that'll go over well. Uh, <laughs> he would love it once. Yeah. <laughs> um, the uh, I'm just also seeing some of the comments come in here, too. Um. I guess it was definitely mentioned here a little bit. Band aid, but intentional. Oh, um, so the, ban them. Ban them from the comments. <laughs> somebody did say. Tell fruity, Sean to knock it off. Somebody did say fruity pebbles. <laughs> like, okay. Like, like tequila with the worm in the bottom of this bottle oh. of scotch. There's a bloody band aid. It's great. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta eat the band aid, Liam. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I had no. a fruity pebbles, unintentionally fruity pebbles beer once. I had a friend ruin a couple of beers for me. He said, I, there's a beer I liked, it, Lining Kugel Sunset Wheat. And I liked it. This was back in college. And a friend said, oh, it tastes like Fruity Pebbles. I'm like, shut up. No, it doesn't. Damn it, he's right. I've never drank it since. <laughs> uh, yes. All right. So, sorry about that. If you have a favorite flavor of scotch, let us know and make it weird. Peanut butter? Bananas? What are we making desserts over here? What kind of weird thing would you want to try in your scotch? Let us know in the comments and check out some of our other whiskey tries in the playlist.